Hey, what's up there guys? Corey here from Gotta Be Mobile. We just unboxed a brand new Nexus 6P and now we have the Nexus 5X. This is Google's brand new flagship smartphone, the king of the smaller, well-rounded, budget-friendly smartphone is here. This is the Nexus 5X. It was announced on September 29th. It's available for uh, pre-order on the uh, Google Store and it's shipping soon. So we wanted to just kind of quickly unbox it and give you a look at Google's new 5.2 inch smartphone. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Of course, it runs Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It's the first phone to ship with it. It's got a fingerprint scanner and a big improved camera and just a lot of changes. They're gonna make this kind of a great phone. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it here. It does work on all carriers, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, you name it. We got a Project SIM or Project Fi SIM card as well. So we're gonna go ahead and try out Project Fi, which uses T-Mobile, uh, Sprint and uh, like LTE and then Wi-Fi hotspots throughout the city, which is Google's new kind of plan to push carriers forward. So this is the Nexus 5X, and we're going to go ahead and unbox it and give you a quick look here before we dig into more stuff here in the future. Go ahead and top this out of the way. And here is the Nexus 5X. Got a little paperwork out of the box here telling you all about the phone and what everything does and all that kind of stuff. So nothing too special there. And here is the phone, wow, that's really lightweight. We got the white Nexus 5X. It also comes in uh, kind of a black color and then there's a uh, unique mint bluish tinted blue kind of color that's pretty fancy as well. But uh, it's actually really lightweight. I'm kind of impressed. Maybe that's because I just held the aluminum uh, Nexus 6P. But you get a free 90 days or three months of Google Play Music with your purchase of the new Nexus 5X or 6P. I believe that also works even if you've used kind of one of their promotions in the past. But uh, moving on here, we're going to dig into what's all in the box here. We have a SIM slot removal tool and some paperwork on the new Nexus smartphone. Nothing too crazy going on. And then what we have here is the new charger. Now this phone has a couple of firsts. One of those is a new USB Type-C charger. So go ahead and yank this out. And as you can see, there it is. This is the new USB Type-C cord. It's reversible. It goes in either direction and it supports quick charging and a couple things like that. And it also works with a lot of adapters like HDMI out and what have you. So this is the new standard moving forward. Both the Nexus phones run it and uh, all your old chargers and cords won't work at all. And another thing here is same with the wall warts. So you're not gonna be able to use those old, old cords lying around. You're gonna have to use kind of all new stuff, which is USB type C. So there's only one included. This is the only thing to charge your phone if you get it. And you're gonna have to buy some uh, USB type C adapters if you wanna use kind of some of your old chargers. But that's not important. What is, is the new Nexus 5X. So let's throw that aside and get to the phone. We're gonna to toss that Nexus 6P out of the way as well. Here it is, Google's brand new budget smartphone in the flagship line. And this is the Nexus 5X. It feels very good and very lightweight in the hand. Um, it's pretty small, pretty easy to hold compared to something like the Nexus 6P. And uh, overall, this is just pretty impressive looking. It's got a uh, nice 5.2 inch display. It is only 1080p. So it's not a quad HD display like uh, some other phones of this size. We're gonna go ahead and boot it up and uh, talk more about the specs. So 5.2 inch uh, 1080p HD display. It's not quite as powerful as the Nexus 6P, but it does have a couple pretty powerful features considering the price is only, you know, 379, 399. It's, it's a cheap phone. But we have a uh, five megapixel front facing camera, dual front facing speakers, which kind of is uh, what makes the uh, size of the phone so big. The speaker grills actually are a little different looking than the Nexus 6P. These kind of protrude out and these kind of indent in on the Nexus 5X. But we have the power button on the side and the uh, volume rocker. We have the new 12 megapixel camera on the rear. It uh, does a lot of different stuff, dual LED flash, laser autofocus. A lot of that stuff comes from uh, LG because, uh, you know, they've built, what, three now Nexus smartphones. We have that fingerprint scanner on the back. And uh, overall, it's just kind of a well-rounded smartphone that doesn't cost an arm and a leg and has a lot to offer. Now, we only have two gigs of RAM and it comes with a six core uh, Snapdragon 808 processor like the LG G4 and a couple other phones. So it doesn't have an eight core processor and three gigs of RAM like the Nexus 6P, but it's still plenty capable and powerful. And then there's a 2700 milliamp hour battery inside. Now, as a comparison, the uh, Galaxy S6 is the same size screen with a higher resolution and only 2550 milliamp hour battery. So 2700 is not bad. 
Um, overall, it's pretty well rounded here. And uh, just giving you a look here, it's all made of plastic. It's kind of what we're all used to from a phone from Google in terms of the Nexus line and uh, matches up a lot more to uh, what kind of we're used to compared to the Nexus 6P. I'll go ahead and slide that in and show you the Nexus 6P next to the Nexus 5X. So there's Google's two new smartphones. Obviously one is much bigger, much more uh, kind of premium. It's got aluminum all around it, comes with more storage. That's one other thing worth mentioning. The new uh, Nexus 5X only comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage, which is not a lot. Although it does come with a 32 gigabyte model for more money if you'd like. So that's one thing to consider. Most people are getting that 32 gig option just because you're gonna need it, so. But we're gonna run down some of the software here a little bit later. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the overall size. It looks good, it feels good. It's uh, just pretty decent overall. Really quickly though, we're gonna show you how it looks next to its older brother from 2013, the original Nexus 5. I've got mine right here. Hopefully it's got battery. So this is the new Nexus 5X next to the original Nexus 5. As you can see, there's a big difference even though it's only got a you know, 5 inch screen and a 5.2 inch display. So these are the Nexus 5X and the old Nexus 5. But we're gonna go ahead and run through the software a little bit later, so stay tuned for a full review of Android 6.0 Lollipop. We're really liking what we see so far. It's definitely a good phone in terms of uh, overall looks and feel and size and weight and everything else. It's just, it's pretty impressive. I like it so far, but uh, we're gonna need a lot more time with it than that. But there it is, the original Nexus 5, the new Nexus 5X, and the brand new Nexus 6P. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, guys.